So all you need for this painting is, I have uh, burnt umber, and I have cat red, and I have cat yellow, and I have titanium white, and I also have some ultramarine blue. Uh, this one's Windsor blue, but uh, ultramarine blue is much better. So, and I also have some nice brushes for you to use, and this will make your painting a lot simpler. I put some magic white on this time because I find it makes the paint a lot more slip This one here with a base color again. All right, now I have to figure out my base color. If you're looking at a photograph, or you're looking at uh, a photograph, yeah, look at the what is the base color? What's behind the clouds? Is it a dark blue sky? Is it a very light? light sky and I'll try to figure out what the background is and what I'm thinking is I'm going to give it a really light purple in this one all right so I'm just going to mix look how nice and dirty my palette isn't that amazing isn't it amazing how we can find beauty in everything <laughs> it's true though isn't it to me that's beautiful look at those gorgeous colors I don't look at that as a dirty palette I look at that as a beautiful colors. It's really mixing together. So I'm trying to get a nice, a nice light purple. I don't know why. There we go. You see, I'm getting stuff mixed in with it, but you know what? I don't really care. I love it. All right, so that's good. Now I'm just going to put that all that underneath here. And add a little more red. So kind of on a like a pinkish blue color. This will be our background. That got a little bit too dark for me, so I'm gonna add more white. So the beauty of it, you can add more white. The magic white will brighten it up for you, but sometimes you just you know you just put on too much dark colors. So let's just put on we're doing only a base color right now. See all that nice white there? You can leave that. That's nice. All right. Don't see this one. I don't want you to worry about anything. I just want you to put on your base color first. It's so what you put on top of it is the hardest part. Look how nice and smooth that is now because of the magic white. And look, it's, it's not. It's a shorter time period too, right? You know what I mean? It's like shorter. It's take, not taking me as long to put it on now. Now I'm gonna put some white down here. I always like the bottom to be a bit brighter because in some cases it don't have to be, but you know, some of these are dramatic sunset skies and some are kind of just dramatic skies, right? So that's pretty good. Now, even though this is still wet, I've got, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add ultramarine blue. I don't need very much because of the magic white, so just putting it on corner of the edge of my brush and I'm going to put some blue right here see and one beauty the beauty thing about the magic white too is it lets it lets things blend together without destroying the other paint I don't know it just makes it so beautiful and nice look more dark I got a few happy accents going on there I got a bit of weight on my brush it's fine. Look how pretty it is though. Isn't it gorgeous? Alright. I should clean my palette so I'm getting all kinds of paint and mixed together, but that's okay. It looks good. It looks good. I love it. This is I mean what a difference with the magic what I can't get over it. I get drama. Me. We have to have nice big dark clouds. So let me think, let me think. I think I'm going to go with the burnt sienna and a bit of burnt umber. I don't know. Um, you can, When you're watching this, watch what I do first because if I fool up, then you won't have to fool up. Okay? So I'm just going to add some of these uh, and I'm going to add a bit of red to that too, I think. I'm just going to experiment with colors. So I kind of got red and blue and, or what did I say? Red and burnt sienna. 
Looks like there might be a bit of blue on that. It's just okay, a bit of blue too, it's fine. Fine and dandy. Now we got to destroy all this beautiful paint up here. We don't have destroyed all. We can probably just put in some dark areas. Let's see. Yeah, leave some openings. So make the darkest part on the top here. I'm just going to turn my brush and smooth it out. I'm just going to streak it over, pull it in, All right, let's put a bit of burnt umber, that, burnt, that color I made up, burnt umber, burnt sienna, and uh, just on the corner of the brush, see it looks sort of like just making a mess of the corner of the brush there, not too much, that red looks nice here, yeah, I like that. kind of trying to decide how much to put on is what I'm trying to decide here now. I'm trying to figure out a little bit more burnt sienna, burnt umber, burnt sienna, bit of red. I think, I think, I think, maybe a bit of blue too. A little bit of blue to it too, I know. I'm experimenting, see what happens. See what happens, we get in trouble. Go back up here, I think. Oh yeah, that's nice, that gives it nice dark. There we go. That's what I'm looking for, I'm just looking for something dark. Just because of the contrast, which really brings out your paintings. Coming along, isn't it? Okay, let's pick up some more. Oh, it's scary. I don't want to destroy it. So far, not bad. Turn my brush around a little bit so I can get some over here. Then I'm gonna go down here and here. Don't want too much. Don't think I wanna go down much further than that. Now I want to bring this together. Some openings. I'm keeping my brush turned on the chisel edge. Like I said, watch the video first. That way you'll be able to, be able to do the things that I, you know, if I make mistakes, and that at least, because I could change my mind and say, okay, don't do that, do this. Then you're like, you're gonna get mad at me because you're gonna say, Well, you told me to do that, and now I got my painting ruined. <laughs> okay. All right, let me just smooth that out. I'm gonna take my fluffy brush, but I'm gonna use my See, black. It's a makeup brush, it's black. It's the same as the white one, but it's black. So, and I only paid a couple of dollars for it, so I'm gonna soften this up here with this. How soft it is, look at that. Isn't that pretty? So I'm coming underneath there and pulling it down a little bit. So whatever paint is left over will go into the other colors. Okay. 
right, we have drama. Nice. Left over my brush and my lid already here. Just so I can get a bit of contrast. You can see what I'm doing, right? I'm just putting it everywhere, basically. You know? Like I said before, if you're, if it starts to dry up on you, just put on some more magic white. Just putting a little bit down here so that. Uh, so I can start spreading some paint down. Get some of that dark everywhere a little bit more. Nice. Kind of sort of just trying to blend it out a little bit, this all. Kind of sorta. Kind of sorta, she says. That's a kind of sorta. Now. I'm going to get a light purple color, blue and white, red and blue. Let's try and get a pink color. A little bit of blue, but make it more on the red side. Lots of white. There we go. Don't have to be totally mixed perfect. We'll put some of that here. Streak it over with the um, with the uh, chiseled edge. Get some more. Lots of white. All right. Okay, just keep dipping into white now because you got enough pink on your brush. All right. Because we want to make it look like just some clouds here, too. This one's pretty dramatic, isn't it? <laughs> All right, you know, I think I'm gonna add a bit of yellow to this. Just dirty brush, I'm just gonna pick up some yellow. Maybe a bit of white too. The white can help it along. The white will brighten it up, see? So, Let's see, let's see, maybe some streaks of yellow going here. That really brightens it up, doesn't it? See the yellow, the light against the dark is what I'm trying to do, okay? Blend that a little bit. Kind of looks nice, doesn't it? Maybe a little bit more down here. I'm gonna get some white my brush. Like I said, once you get your base color on and you throw on these col colors on top, you're gonna to have to play around and experiment with them to see what you like. So think about putting the darks against the lights, and that will help you them stay dramatic, things, isn't it? And uh, I don't know if I should play around that too much over here. Maybe a little bit here, kind of balance it out because there's so much blue and different colors on either side. And I think I'm going to add a little more darks, and then I'm 
probably going to leave it alone because the more I do things, the worse I make it sometimes. There's a dark line there. That's my burnt on burn. Burnt sienna. Red. Look. Just using chisel edge of your brush. This is a great brush for doing these paintings, okay? You put it in a foot. Yeah, corner of your brush. And figure out where we want some clouds. We don't want too many. But they're all clouds. I just want to see where I want to add a little more weight. I'm teaching you to have fun and relax. You take it too serious, then it's not fun anymore. It's just too serious. You go to an art class, teacher gets mad at you because you didn't do it exactly the way they said to do it. That's not fun. Go to wine and sip parties. Everybody does their own thing. They have a great time. That's fun. I'm just going to add a little more purple color here. I think that might... Because I'm not, I'm not feeling it. And I want to see if I can come up with something. So... A little bit of purple going on here. I'm coming across here and here because I feel that I didn't have enough darkness in it for the contrast. So I'm just going to add this little more contrast, okay? And then we'll see what happens. Let's see if that helps. So we'll just put that on there again. Sometimes you have to work with it until you get what you're looking for. So let's just add a little bit of blue up here. Not sure. I'll try it anyway. It does make it come out nice, so doesn't it? A little bit of extra blue. of it. It's okay if there's other colors on your on your brush. As long as mostly blue. Alright. Add a little bit of tiny bit of white to that. That's better. That's better. That gives it more drama. I like that. That's better. Good. Now I think I'm going to call it finished. Now here it is. It's pretty dramatic, but I'm not sure, you know. Here it is. So I'll keep the bottom in case we add water, but here it is. All those big dark clouds. It's nice. You do enough of them and, and you can pick dark up the ones on this you like side, the best this side and some uh, white in between the darks. So there we go.